Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and we're live on Revolutionary Camp. I'm here with one of my good brothers, uh, Brother Sele, and we appreciate him for looking to join. As a matter of fact, he's not looking to join, he's on our Tanzania November 17th to 28th Journey of a Lifetime tour. And he came over today at the office here and we we're literally just uh, connecting and networking, talking about that wonderful journey that we're going to be enjoying. So I showed him and I gave him two of the uh, tour books. This is the last year tour book for November. You gotta put it up somewhere so we can see it. And this is the first journey, November 2020. So family, uh, when you're looking at these tour books, uh, these tour books, we have the digital version on our website at africafortheafricans.org. Once you're on our website, go to the main menu and click on tour books. There, the, the link is right there and then also you want to click on Tanzania November 2022 and that's what my good brother did and he read all the information and we went through it and he has known me over the years and we've been talking about getting on one of these journeys and the Tanzania journey just literally clicked and I know it's probably one of your favorite times of the year to be around but you know thank you for making that sacrifice <laughs> I, know, I know it's a joke right? Right. But uh, let, me, you know. let me let my uh, brother introduce himself to your family uh, yes, I'm known in the community, Brother uh, Sele Abasi, and I am definitely looking forward to uh, the upcoming trip to Tanzania with Brother Bomani, and I, you know, I've been hoping to make this trip uh, for some time now, and now it's coming to fruition. Um, so I'm also looking to establish some relationships and see how much I can help my brother here. He's got a lot of moving parts, so I want to, you know, be part of that as well. Absolutely, brother. I appreciate you, man. Uh, you know, you have mm -hmm. set up uh, presentations and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and contributed uh, to the, the movement of just, you know, beyond this uh, tour operation, the, the main movement that we've been pushing for a long time, the repatriation and pan-African community, which we finally got organized. So, family, along on the main menu, along with the tour information, you'll see the Black Star pan-African community. And once you click on it, just like when you click on the tour links, you see a world full of information and that's because we value information and we want to make sure people are clear with, clear with us uh, before they journey with us. Now back to the Tanzania uh, journey. Uh, these tour books uh, give you just a nice flow of literally just what you're gonna enjoy on a journey. Now the first journey that we did uh, in 2020 uh, it was eight days. Then what we have done since then is added one more day so let me give you the flow, uh, as you remember, based on you looking at the, uh, the schedule information. Uh, we're doing four days in Arusha. So what we're doing, family, uh, November 17th, we're going to fly from the U.S. into Amsterdam on Delta Airlines slash KLM. And once we get to Amsterdam, uh, November 18th, we're just going to fly to Kilimanjaro Airport. Then our tour staff is going to get us from the Kilimanjaro airport and uh, give us about a it's going to take about a one hour ride to get to Arusha now when we get to Arusha the hotel that we have set for us is called Kibo Palace Kibo Palace is a Tanzanian owned hotel it's a four star hotel it is incredible got lots of videos of us uh, at the hotel uh, from the front inside the hotel to the restaurant the back to also on the uh, you know in the pool swimming uh, so it's one of those things where family, uh, you can when you're on our YouTube channel, you're gonna go to playlists, and then you or you can just scroll down once you go to the channel, and you'll see the link for Tanzania, November 2020 and November 2021. Uh, so that's part of that detail. But that's Kibo Palace, family. So uh, along with Kibo Palace, we have a full schedule there uh, in Arusha. Do you remember some of the things we're doing? If not, um, what I can share with you is. Uh, Maasai Market, so mm -hmm. for those who are looking to shop, lots of time shopping, you don't get enough time, what we end up doing is bringing people back uh, to shop. Tanzanite Experience, which is um, Tanzania version of what, you know, like, uh, you know, like a precious mineral, like a diamond will be. And, you know, so we have that to share with uh, individuals on a special tour. Also, we go, uh, we, you know, we always designate a school that we go to at least one school you know, per country or, or one school per operation that we do. So we have a school that we're going to go to donate school supplies and financial donations. So for those who are looking to bring school supplies uh, you know, for the children, uh, you, know, you can just bring the supplies with you. 
and then before we leave Arusha, you know, you, you have an empty space in your bag. Uh, so that's uh, one set of things. Now we have two museums that we go to because I'm one of them people that believe that when you're traveling, the roots and the culture is in the museums. You know, so we go to the, uh, the, the Natural Museum and also we go to the Declaration Museum. Uh, so the Declaration Museum is more about independence and how Tanzania was formed. And the Natural Museum is more showing the natural history and elevation or evolution of Tanzania. Uh, so that is uh, incredible. And you know, it's, it's you're on a tour and we literally are coming together and just enjoying all these wonderful things. And then, then we usually just find somewhere nice to go out to just eat, enjoy a wonderful uh, dinner. You select what you want and enjoy your meal. Uh, f for those who are looking to go out with us for nightlife or just socialize around the hotel, cards, dominoes, you know, fulfill a uh, venture. So that is literally Arusha. That's four days, you know, or I should say four nights. And then once we leave from there, we're going to literally fly, we're going to literally drive back to Kilimanjaro Airport. This is the logistics of well organized. And then once you get to Kilimanjaro Airport, you have a direct flight uh, to Zanzibar Island. And then once we get to Zanzibar Island, uh, we're literally going to do one or two basic tours, usually it's a, a, a spice farm tour. And then we're going to drive up to our resorts in Nungui. Uh, so we're still finalizing um, where mm. we're going to stay at. Uh, we've stayed at two different places the last time. And now we're looking to stay somewhere further up on a little bit further up on the northwest part of the island, which give you the best beaches and, and, and sunset cruise and all those good things. Uh, but once we get there, that's our beach resort. We have that day right there to relax, kick back. Uh, get in some, you know, you can get on your jet ski, you can just order your nice uh, grilled fish, relax, uh, enjoy that day. The next day we're going to do Stone Town. Stone Town is that historical town. This, and literally when you go there, you'll see that why it's called Stone Town. So we'll do the, the tours that we have in Stone Town. And once we get back to the resort, the next day is the day where we just, it's, you know, it's an open day. We don't have much going on. The main thing that we got going on is a sunset cruise. So we have a designated boat, and that boat is taking us around for like two and a half hours, and you're seeing the different islands, and it's during the sunset, so it's cool. So family, those are the fun, exciting things that we have. And, uh, and, and so I'm going uh, fast on it, but at the same time too, the reason I actually click on that link is because you can see the full tour overview, the full itinerary, the visa information, which is very simple, which will also help you with, uh, the departure reminder, preparation information. You also have language translation, from Kiswahili to English, for those who want to uh, start practicing Kiswahili, and then we have basically a health requirements to, to help you build your immune system. So those are all the preparation information that we have. Um, but on the last two days that we have, um, it was in Dar es Salaam. So we literally take a ferry boat from Zanzibar Island directly to uh, Dar es Salaam city center, and then that's where our hotel is. So it's a short ride. And then we just have two beautiful days in Dar es Salaam. Uh, we only have one day we're going out um, as far as tour, and that's to the history mu to the um, to the cultural village museum, and then also to the national museum. And then we have um, one or two sites, um, art um, and frame um, uh, place. And then we have a you know, wonderful dining uh, when we get there, and also when we out on tour. So. It's an incredible adventure mm. of just roots, culture, getting away, enjoy, and makes a perfect relaxation. We don't have any business conference or anything like that. This is the, those. This is one of those itineraries that we just have. It's set up for just a roots and culture getaway. And if you want to stay longer, stay longer, enjoy the getaway, and mm. enjoy this a beautiful time in Tanzania. So that's the next thing that we do. Families just recommend people stay longer if they want to enjoy paradise longer. So my brother, how does that sound? Are you ready to go in November? <laughs> it sounds great. I'm ready. Absolutely. And you know, you can, you can speak up loud and it's, you know, let the folks know how excited you are. Uh, I don't even know if I got the words for it. I mean, I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. It can't get here fast enough. And uh, I think you did an excellent job on the uh, uh, events, the, the, you know, to keep us... Uh, on the schedule, the yes, itinerary. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. We, I can tell you put a lot of time and effort in them, so that's definitely appreciated. Um, I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, absolutely, um, and um, since, since this is the third year, um, I remember this basically just not being able to go to South Africa in November 2020, and we just 
wrote an itinerary from scratch to and this is it was in replacement of what we had in South Africa. Wow. And then that's how we built the books and built everything up and that's the, the latest program that we built and then you know the Senegal and the Gambia is another one too. And so we've been operating in Ghana long and this is our expansion and people ask us about different countries. And you know, you want to do different countries as you can do them, not to duplicate another Ghana. So Tanzania our experience is completely different from what we have in Ghana. Uh, Ghana is just the foundation of what we have, especially since we have that Black Star community, which we have reinvested our earnings and business profits in our, in our other business and just make work. Because we have to start thinking about real estate development. When you go to Ghana and you go to Tanzania, what you're going to see, family, especially if you have done research on those countries over the last several years, you'll see more, you know, you know more Indian and Chinese and uh, and Arabic uh, influence as far as just investments and business, you know. So these, you know, you know. So it's like we also have a chance to get involved in business. So when we do these journeys, it's to open the eyes up to certain things. And even though we're not pushing certain things, you know, we can always offer people assistance if they're looking to move, they're looking to do certain things, and connect them with that network. Because one thing that we have is a vast network. Uh, so, but. That is the uh, that is the tour overview right there, family, on that wonderful journey, November seventeenth to the twenty eighth, twenty twenty two, to Tanzania on our three city journey, or I should say this three part journey, Arusha, Zanzibar Island, and Dar es Salaam city. Yes, brother. You you really getting the water and jet ski and and, and doing the uh, I'm water ready for sports. The, I'm ready for the dress jet skis. And also, um, you know. Uh, you know, it's a tropical getaway, so you know we have they have lots of nice massages and oh wow and you know it's like health and wellness uh, treatments and things like that. So that's what what we have okay. incorporated in all of the journeys to where you have those days where you can just get your massage, relax a little bit, Good. kick back. Uh, so it's not all about just running, running, running uh, and things like that. Yes, man. So let me know if you have any questions for me directly, or you just. You're just so excited, you're just waiting for the journey to go. I'm waiting for the journey. I mean, I've been reviewing the videos and, you know, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the journey. And I know I've been talking to you for like <laughs> years. <laughs> you all say, yeah, but money, what trip you got next? And then, <laughs> and then I get into like a five minute breakdown. I say, yeah, we've got this going on, we've got this going yes, on. Yes, I agree. Uh, we got this country. And even at one point I was like telling people we had Ghana, Togo, Benin, we had South Africa. Yes. Uh, and we were pushing Ethiopia and things like that. So. We're always looking for this uh, incredible itineraries, but it's not as simple because it's like just because you create an itinerary don't mean that you're just going to get the multitude of people. Correct. Uh, so that was the good thing about the South Africa Tanzania itinerary. You know, we was able to just progress a little bit and be able to just adjust the itinerary where this it was more balanced. Okay. South Africa could be a little tricky because a lot of stuff is around Mandela and apartheid, mm -hmm. and that can get overwhelming okay. uh, in some people's uh, case. Uh, so I just thought Tanzania was just the most balanced itinerary that I've ever created uh, because it's just so focused on roots and culture and then just getting away and it's like not a lot of pressure. Okay. You know? Like sometimes you're traveling with us to a certain country, we talk about business and investments and nation building and things like that. I'm not saying that we don't talk about that on our journey because we're going to always push that community that we build in Ghana, same to investors. You see how beautiful Africa is? Well, why not invest some of our money and our earnings in land uh, for real estate development and for this, you know, expansion of this, you know, there's no more land that's going to be created. So, you know, it's going to be, so it's going to be important to own land and important to have land that you can build up on. So these are the things that, you know, I want to teach our generations. Uh, that way, when they're looking to go to Africa, I'm not saying they, they should just, because people usually say, go get land, it's, you know, but it's like, you want to get land with a purpose and you want to get it with a group of people and you want to get it or at least you know you know it doesn't have to be a big group it could be a very small group a focus group you know like one of the things that you know when i connect with you on i like you guys program and once again thank you for bringing me on it was like a mastermind program i yes. still have that flyer that uh, you put together and uh you know i edited the video and uploaded and okay. shared it and look forward to doing that again but looking for more like groups of people who are more like mastermind focus right and say if you say that hey you know let's build a resort that group can organize things and then you know we connect and then that project get done I because agree. it's a it's a focus group 
and that's it's right. not like a group of people that's just like all over the place. That's right. And that's why even in our commu community, what we have is committees, and we try to build them to where they're effective, to where a group of people work based on you know the needs of uh, you know this community or committee. Yes. Yeah. yeah so. But yes, brother, man, uh, it's been good, man. And as I look through this book, and I look at the part that shows the massage and the jet skiing and all that stuff, uh, that's, it, that, that's it, man, uh, Family Paradise. So I'm going to be uploading more of our Tanzania um, videos. The next set of videos I have is Stone Town, um, beautiful history. And then after that is the, the day we went out and we were literally just doing a full moon cruise. I mean that was that was incredible. I don't, I can't I still can't believe why that two and a half hours went by. But I guess when you're partying and having fun, right. and you're on top of a boat and you're in the middle of this paradise, <laughs> I know people look at it like, how could you guys be on top of that? But what if you fell off? <laughs> you know, it's like you're in a zone. And then plus we can all swim, <laughs> and we have you know people who can swim and we have you know lifeguards and people like that in the boat that's why we have all those guys there okay so it's like you tell people we're well equipped and we're prepared <laughs> wow. but but perfect man um uh, i think that's it brother um i appreciate you coming to and first talking and i appreciate uh, you we talked on the recording but you know you know when you come here you know, we're not going to record our whole conversation so <laughs> we're, we're, we're able to okay. talk about other business and other things but okay. wanted to just you know Every once in a while, when we have people that come as, you know, as guests, because I'm always telling people, I was like, you're traveling with me, we're doing business together, you know, you know, I'm fine with meeting you at the airport, I mean, you're in the country, but if you have a chance to come to G Georgia, come on, let's connect. And then if, you know, you're in a certain state and I'm touring or I'm moving around, like sometimes I'm in one or two states, and then you're there, I'll always just reach out and say, hey, let's uh, connect, uh, so we can just, you know, link up. And then, if nothing else, you know, it is modern day technology. With the pandemic or the shutdown literally mm -hmm. taught us Technology is your friend. Yes. Yeah, you know? I wish I, I wish I owned like a whole bunch of money in Zoom stocks, because <laughs> literally that was one of the best programs that they had out there for you to do video calls. And good luck in getting some of these uh, webcams that I have here. Mm. Ooh, man, you just have to be thankful that you 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 was ahead of the curve and you bought those things and you invested in them. So now when you can't move around as you can't as you know we used to, you're able to do your conference. So we did a whole bunch of conference on tours. Mm and investment even though you couldn't travel anywhere but i tell people i was like yo we got to keep the momentum going because what you know what is if this was um energy to break our momentum so since we couldn't go to south africa right. again family we went to tanzania and that was literally brother a blessing i'm not here to put south africa down and things mm -hmm. like that and south africa is incredible mm -hmm. but one of the things is the the civil unrest drama that they have had over the years it doesn't look good when you're fighting other african nations and things like that um and, and so on, and it's just like, you know, we're about Pan-Africanism, we're not about any African nation coming against the next, you know, it's like, all of us are in different countries and we're all working and everything, no one is taking nobody's job. And the same thing I tell people, when me and you are, are there in Africa, we're there contributing, we're there investing, just like, you know, you see certain things going on, like, you, you, you're a person that, you know, you know, you're always donating to the cause of just people just, you know, making moves, you know, as you have done with, you know, some of our good brothers that, uh, you know, you know that that's that, that's out in the Pan African world. Thank you. Yes, we gotta support our own. We got we have to support each other. So family, so support energy family and join us in paradise and let's enjoy it again. And yes. please take a look at all the previous videos from our Tanzania journeys, and also the photos that we have on Instagram or on Facebook, and you, and and see the the flow of what we do and reach out to me. Um, now, if you're interested in doing any kind of business with me, one of the main things that I highlight on is that you know, we talk, uh, have proper connections, and make sure that uh, what you're looking to do, we can deliver for you to the highest level, and that you're going to be someone that understands the flow of what we're doing, and respect and support it, just like we need to respect and support each other to the highest level, because that's the only way we're going to be able to build a future for our children. You know, and, and all the people that I know and I'm around, you know, all of us have children, whether it's one or several, and it's like, we have to think about the future. It's like, where are they going to work at? How are they going to live? How are they going to do things? So if we don't start practicing, working together, group economics and building together, you know, there'll be no future for them. And trust me, family, when you, when you think about, you know, nations like uh, the Lebanon, like, like Lebanon, uh, you're talking about uh, 
China, India, you're talking about nations that's not playing. They, they, they're putting their money together and they're enterprising. They look at Africa as a gold mine, places like the Caribbean, South America, and so on. So, you know, what we won't do, you know, even we see in our own so called black communities all over America, you know, we see all kind of people, we call them whatever we want to call them, they're building opportunities. So that's what we're doing for our own people. So, family, let's keep it strong and. We'll keep you posted and the journey continues.